Now it's time for the children's moment. So if you have children or youth who aren't already watching this video, now's a great time to call them over uh, because I've got some things to share with them today. Hey guys, it's Pastor David again. And today we're thinking about prayer. So what is prayer? How do you define prayer? Well, prayer, of course, is talking to God, but it's also listening to God. And we know from the Bible that God is interested in what we have to say to God. Now, here's a couple of questions. Uh, first of all, do you have a favorite way to pray? Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, kneeling beside your bed at night. Yeah, that's right. Kneeling by your bed. Say your prayers before you go to bed. Someone else, a favorite way to pray. Oh, okay. You like to bow your head and fold your hands. Okay, that's, uh, that's great. Well, when is a good time to pray? Um, okay, you, you like to pray before you eat. Boy, that's great. You know, give thanks to God for the food that we have. Someone else? Okay, at night before you go to bed, that's a great time to pray. Anyone else? Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> you're right. Before a math test. <laughs> I can't think of a better time to pray <laughs> uh, than that. Well, do, do any of you have a favorite prayer that you have memorized? Um, Okay, God is great, God is good. Yep, that's our blessing before uh, we eat that a lot of kids, are, in fact, I used that when I was a kid. Uh, somebody else, um, okay, now I lay me down to sleep. That's a good bedtime prayer. Um, anyone else? The, yeah, yeah, we call that the Johnny Appleseed uh, prayer, and it's a song. Oh, the Lord's been good to me, and so I thank the Lord, and it, you know, keeps on going. So there are lots of ways to pray, and many prayers that people have memorized. Now, if I told you guys that I didn't know how to pray and ask you to teach me how to pray, what would you tell me? Yeah, I, I know, I'm a pastor, I should know how to pray. And believe me, I do, I pray. I'm just asking, what if? What if one of your friends were to come to you and say, well, you know, I, I went to church, they talked about prayer, I don't really know how to pray. What would you tell them? You know, that's certainly something to think about. Well, in our scripture passage today, Jesus' disciples came to him and they said, Lord, teach us to pray. And so Jesus taught them to pray. He gave them a model prayer, a kind of a sample, an example prayer that we call today the Lord's Prayer. And in fact, we still use the Lord's Prayer in our worship services, uh, even, even in these days. In fact, just a few moments ago, we prayed the Lord's Prayer in this video worship. Now, this is my cell phone and it connects me with other people. In the same way, prayer connects us with God. This enables me to talk to other people that aren't right here with me. Prayer enables us to talk to God. And so just like we talk to people on the phone, in the same way we talk to God. And that's what prayer is, and that's how you can explain it to someone else. Okay, let's pray together. Hey God, it's us, and we just want to say thank you for the children and youth that are watching this video today and, and all those that are part of our church. And God, uh, I'm just asking that you'll bless them and bless their families. In Jesus' name, amen. 